everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my haul from two separate days of garage sailing. One on Saturday the 15th of September and the other one was September 22nd. Um, the first Saturday, I actually wasn't going to go out at all because there was almost nothing happening in my town. There were maybe well, there were actually only two that I was going to, and I ended up finding another one on the way to the third one. Um, but I am very glad that I got my butt up and actually went to them. And then the next weekend, there were, well, there were townwides everywhere. I ended up going to a townwide that I go to every year, about 15 minutes from here. And then I drove another 15 minutes in a different direction and went to another town wide that I've been to I think once or twice before um, and I did really well both weekends uh, and then I'm also going to show you the few things that I got at the consignment sale yesterday that I can um, well a couple things I'm keeping but most of it I'm reselling and of course you know got clothes for my daughter which is the main thing so let me start with the consignment sale um, that was yesterday, which was October 3rd, yeah. I worked my two shifts, Monday and Tuesday, um, which for some reason I always dread. I really do. I don't know why I can't stand working at the sale so much. Because once I get there, I'm fine. Because there's a bunch of us girls who have been there for ever and a day. And we all sign up for the same shift, so we're all always all working together. We know each other, you know, we can joke around with each other, and we have the cushy job because we get to stand up front and just inspect everyone's clothes. We don't have to run everything back and put everything away and, you know, walk our butts off. So it's kind of nice. We just stand up there and chit-chat and <laughs> check out people's clothes. Um, so anyway, they have now a table that is... Christmas decor, well, pretty much any seasonal decor, um, plus they have white elephant stuff, which means, you know, it just has to be brand new, and they'll let you sell it, which she never used to do. I think she just started doing it last year. So, um, I got this Winnie the Pooh. This is a jointed resin Winnie the Pooh figurine. This is from Charpent or Charpente. I don't know how it's pronounced. It's C-H-A-R-P-E-N-T-E. -E. Um, and they make all kinds of stuff. Picture frames and bookends and um, all kinds of classic poo things. So as you can see, I haven't taken the tag off this yet. This was $5, but um, I can make at least 20 to 25 plus shipping on this. And then I got for, I think these were three dollars, I already took the tag off these. I got three of these Scentsy Bars. There's, I could only see the one in the front because this was all taped shut. But when I got it home, I found that I had um, Silver Bells, Baked Apple Pie, and Mocha Doodle. So I'm going to sell all three of those together, hoping to get like 15 plus shipping on those oh, sorry guys my paper's moving I got <clears throat> sorry I got two Christmas ornaments um, this one I got because it's Balik it's Balik Living this one's called uh, Reindeer Lantern and this was three dollars but I believe <clears throat> I believe I can get 20 with free shipping on that. And then this one is an old one. Take this plastic off of it. This is an old one from Schmid, which you can't see. All right, hold on. Doesn't want to come out of the box. Why not? Hold on, guys. There we go. Okay. This can just stand up on its own. Oh, so I guess it's not actually an ornament. Okay, I thought it was an ornament. Because <laughs> um, I think they put ornament on the back of this thing. Ah! Things are 
Oh, they did put ornament on the back of this tag. Anyway, I guess this just stands independently. Um, this is from 1977. I think it's the second in a series. Maybe get 15 to 20 on that with free shipping. Sorry, my paper keeps moving, guys. And then for, uh, I think it was two bucks. Yeah. For two bucks, I got this body shop diffuser set which has the lamp ring and then there's 10 different bottles of oils that you put on it um, I should be able to get probably 20 with free shipping maybe 25 and then for myself and I might sell some of these because some of these I think have current expiration dates, but some of it doesn't. Um, I got this whole box of Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty. There's, I think, 11 products in here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, there's 12. Sorry. Are they? Right. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, oh, 13. Sorry. 13. Um, and I picked up the whole box for 25 which is not bad at all. I've always wanted to try this, but didn't want to pay all the money to try it. So for 25 for all of this, I figured, why not? Um, so we'll give it a shot. And there, everything in here except a couple things, I think, are not sealed. Or, I mean, are sealed. So anything that has a current expiration date, I'm going to leave that sealed. And... You know, if I don't like it, then I'll just sell the rest of it. And then the last thing that I bought there for myself was this cute little cutting board. You guys can and get the whole thing in the shot here. Um, obviously, it's the state of New Jersey. And I love it just because it has all these little graphics on it and all the, you know, names of a whole bunch of towns and all that stuff. And, um... I've already hung it up in my kitchen. I'm not going to use it. It's too pretty to use. But I picked this up for 7 which is a little more than I normally would have paid, but I just fell in love with it. And I hardly ever buy anything for myself, so I treated myself yesterday. Um, and it was funny because as I was walking around with it, I had so many women going, Oh my God, it's so cute. Is there another one? I'm like, no, this is the only one. And then I went up to pay for it. And the cashier was like, oh my god, this is so cute. Is there another one? <laughs> I don't even know how many people said that to me. Everybody wanted one of these. But um, just to give you guys, you know, like a brief tour. Okay, so this is Central Jersey. This is where I am. And this, of course, is Foofy Doofy Princeton. Then we have Bridgewater. This is where the mall is. Edison, this is where my husband works. New Brunswick, that's where Rutgers is. I have lived in Stortsville, I have lived in Washington, I have lived in Bloomsbury, which isn't here, but it's right around here. Um, my husband grew up right here. So about 20 minutes to a half an hour for me, depending on traffic. Um, and I had to move out of state for 12 years and then come back and move to Pennsylvania um, <laughs> before I even met him. And then this is North Jersey. Up here is where they film Real Housewives of New Jersey. Complete embarrassment. Um, then you go to Newark and Elizabeth and Patterson. Yes, this is what people typically think of when they think of New Jersey. Do not go here unless you're going to the airport or Ikea which is in Elizabeth other than that you have no reason to go here <laughs> it's just horrible um, then we have state capital in Trenton and then we have you know the shore and right here is the infamous Seaside Heights where they filmed Jersey Shore another embarrassment and up here is where they filmed Jersey Licious another embarrassment <laughs> All these shows make us look so bad. Um, and then you also do not want to go here. You do not want to go to Camden, which is like the murder capital of the United States or something like that, or used to be. 
Um, very bad town. Even my husband's scared to drive around there. My husband will drive around anywhere. And that's about it. Oh, you have Cape May, Atlantic City. And in here we have the Pine Barrens, which if you've watched The Sopranos, that's pretty much where they, you know, dump everyone's body. So if anyone ever wants to, you know, take you to, you know, on a drive to the Pine Barrens, just say no. <laughs> but all this here is, you know, what we call down the shore. We don't say down to the shore. No, down the shore. If you say down to the shore, then you're obviously not from here. But this is it. This is my state. I love it. Um, this is why I had to have this little thing. And the best part of the state for me is right here in central Jersey where I live on the west side where all the farms and everything is it's gorgeous. So that's my little tour for you guys of the entire state. Okay, um, moving on. I'm now going to show you what I got at garage sales. The first couple were on the 15th. Like I said, it was kind of gloomy outside, kind of drizzly, and I didn't feel like going out. So I I went out a little later than I usually do. Um, kind of wished I had gotten there sooner, especially to this first sale. But that's okay because I still did really well. Um, I do have a couple things that I can't show you. Yeah, because they already sold. But I'll tell you what they are and you can look them up. Um, so I walked into this person's garage and the first thing I saw on the back table was a vintage Dansk teak, you know, wooden um, pepper grinder with a salt shaker built into the top. And I was like, oh, <laughs> so excited <laughs> because those can make really good money. And she had a 25 cent sticker on this thing. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Because I knew just by looking at it, it, it had to be worth at minimum 50 bucks and probably more than that. So I picked that up and I sold that at auction that next week for $100 with free priority shipping. So not too shabby for a quarter. Um, always keep a lookout for those. If you turn them over, they will say Dansk somewhere on them. Um, and they also, if you look at the grinding mechanism, a lot of them will say Peugeot, and um, that's also very desirable for some reason. I guess it's a you know very good pepper grinder mechanism that doesn't break or something like that. I don't know, but people like Dansk slash Peugeot pepper grinders. Um, and then also at that sale, I got a whole bunch of well. Not really cross stitch kits, just a bunch of floss and stuff like that. I got this box full of floss and this whole bag full of floss and there's some, um, there's a bag of cross stitch um, fabric in here, there's a few booklets, you know, pattern booklets, and there's even some more floss in this bag, which, you know, floss is floss, and I need to pull it all out. But I got all of this for four bucks, which is a crazy good price. I'll show you guys that. So I'm going to sell all this floss and then and the fabric and probably throw the patterns in too. Just throw the whole, you know, throw the whole thing together in a lot. Um probably get god I don't know I haven't sold floss in a long time maybe I'm hoping at least 30 plus shipping so we'll see what happens with that I haven't listed that yet obviously and then the other thing that was also in that lot was this this is a DMC color card which has samples of every color that DMC embroidery thread has put out or floss is put out. So um, I sold one of these once before. I found one in a thrift store in Florida and we were down there visiting my mother-in-law. I think I sold it for 12 to 15 so I have this one up I think for 15 with free shipping. Um, should be able to get that. If not, I'll drop it down to like 12.99, and I shouldn't have a problem getting rid of that. And 
and the other little odds and ends I got from there, I think I paid 10 bucks for everything that I'm showing you guys here. All right, so the last few things I got were um, three little tubes of Crabtree and Evelyn hand cream. There's is this Somerset Meadow Iris and English Honey and Peach Blossom. They're all sealed. Maybe only get maybe 10 plus shipping on those. I got another little Hagen Reniger, Reniger or however you say that figurine of a Cocker Spaniel still on the card. Maybe 10 for him. Um, this I thought was really cool. This is a hand turned perfume bottle made out of myrtle wood but then when you pull the top out it also has myrtle wood perfume on it which this is going to focus I hope you guys can see that I have my glasses on but I still can't see if that's focusing or not there we go um, so then you just unscrew this little top and you can get to the perfume which is older I think it's turned a little but people don't buy all these vintage perfumes really to wear them they just buy them to collect them so I got that um, for like a dollar should be able to get 10 to 15 out of that then I also got a little bottle of Joe Malone what is it wood sage and sea salt cologne and I think I think I paid four for this and I think I can get like 20 to 25 with free shipping. And then I got this little cross mechanical pencil, which really isn't worth too much, maybe like five, five to ten. So I may just keep I might just keep this. So that was it from that sale, I believe. Hold on, let me double check. Yes. That was it from that sale. So then from there I was headed to another sale that ended up being at a McMansion with completely overpriced stuff. They were having a moving sale and thought all their stuff was worth more than gold. And I said, eh, no. <laughs> but on my way over there I happened to come across another one that they had set up not far down from the post office that I go to. So, you know, only about a mile away from here. And I stopped there and their prices were fantastic. So I spent, I think, $23 there. Yeah. Um, first up, for a dollar, I got this set of Lennox salt and pepper shakers. They don't have the box. Um, not worth too much, maybe 10 to 15 plus shipping on those. Then I picked up, um, oh, the thing that sold was for a dollar in this teeny tiny little blue box, they had a um, Swarovski figurine. It was a tiny little reindeer. He was only a little over an inch tall. Um, found out he was called Rockin' Reindeer because his body was, you know, kind of a sphere. And that was a dollar. And I sold that for $32.99 with free um, first class shipping. So really happy about that. And the other thing that I bought there was this Winnie the Pooh needlepoint stocking, which is really cute. Pooh waking up on Christmas morning with the tree and all the honey pots. And I should be able to get, I think I have this up for... 30 or maybe a little more than that um, but I should at least be able to get 30 with free shipping for that and then the thing I spent the most money on was oh but don't drop these was this big box of Disney ornaments um, a couple of them are broken so I really can't sell them I mean I'm planning on selling this whole thing as a lot anyway so if people want the broken ones, I'll probably just ship them anyway. But most of them are in really good condition. There's Pluto. 
There's a whole bunch of little mermaid ones. Um, Lion King, Tinkerbell. Um, this is Star Wars. Uh, yeah, like this is Avatar, but one of its hands is broken off. Uh, Genie from Aladdin. Uh, Timon and Pumbaa are here. Pinocchio. There's Jiminy Cricket in there somewhere. A bunch from Pocahontas. Cinderella. Mickey Mouse. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Um, Bambi, which this just needs to be re-glued here. Let's focus it. There we go. Dumbo. Um, Jasmine. Ariel, Prince Eric, so a whole bunch of them, and also in there was this little Santa ornament from Hallmark. This is an early one. Come on, camera. Hold on, let me move these so this will focus. There we go. There we go. Um, this is one from 1982 from Hallmark. So I'm trying to sell this on its own for like 10 And then I also got two little Anna Lee things. This little kitty cat sitting in Santa's hat ornament. And then this little Coca-Cola Coca -Cola delivery guy with um, the little cooler. So all those together were 20 bucks. Um, I'm going to put the ornaments up at auction so I don't know what they're going to do. And I think... The Anna Lee things are, I think the little ornament with the cat is like 15, 12 to 15 I think. And the Coca-Cola one is 20 to 25 maybe, something like that. Um, so I think that was it for that Saturday. So then the next Saturday, like I said, I spent... Uh, I spend my time between two town white sales. The first one is really nice because it's just one road in the old part of this town that's 15 minutes away and it's just a straight shot up the street so it's nice because it's really quick and then at the end of the street they have a little flea market at the firehouse and you do the flea market and you just go on your merry way and you know bing bang boom you're done. So I did really well there. I ended up finding three of these Coleman enamelware mugs and they say the sunshine of the night on them. They were 50 cents a piece. They go for about $10 a mug which is great and my daughter absolutely for some reason she has some strange obsession with any kind of coffee and tea related items. Teapots, teacups, coffee makers, um, mugs, yeah, you name it. And if it looks vintagey, that's even better. So these look, you know, vintage to her. And she was like, oh my god, I love that mug. And she's like, please, can I have one? Please, I'll pay you for it. I'll give you $10. And I keep telling her no, only because I was going to take one and hide it and then give it to her for Christmas. Um, but if she keeps bugging me like this, I might have to just give her one ahead of time because she's being very persistent. I figured she would just like forget about it, but no. Uh, so I got those for $1.50. Then I went to another house and this guy was selling his stuff. Dirt, dirt cheap. Um, first thing I got from him. Okay, I had to restart there. First thing I got from him, from him were these two boxes of Noma bubble lights. These are not old. This is from their um, Nostalgia series. But they're brand spanking new in the box. One box is still sealed. The other one isn't. Uh, but he said they only open the box to look at them. They never actually use them. So these should go for about 20 to 25 per set, I believe, plus shipping. So... Not too bad on those, and I love bubble lights. My paternal grandparents used to put bubble lights on their tree, and I remember being a little kid and just sitting on the couch across the room from the Christmas tree and just staring at them, mesmerized. 
and as much as I would want to put them on my own tree, I just have a feeling that <laughs> I've, I know I have no patience and I'd probably have a problem making them stand up straight and I'd probably be cursing at the tree and throwing things. So it's, it's probably better if I just <laughs> keep my memory and <laughs> sell the lights. <laughs> Everybody's happier that way, um, especially my family. And then he had a big box of DVDs and I started looking in there and I saw this. This is the complete Monty Python's Flying Circus um, set of 16 DVDs. They are all in absolutely perfect condition, like new. I don't think they've ever even watched them. So I asked him how much and he told me two bucks. I was like, what? So paid two bucks. These sell all day long for 50 plus shipping, I believe. So, not too bad. And those will go media mail, so shipping is minimal on that. Um, and then, I wasn't having any luck on the rest of the street. There actually weren't nearly as many sales as, um, as they usually have in the past. I think maybe that was because we've had so much rain this season that everyone was just assuming it was going to rain and they figured, you know, why bother? Um, so I didn't really find anything else. I found a few games for 50 cents a piece that were brand new and sealed that I actually put in the consignment sale and I sold one of them so far. The other two will probably go too because they're brand new. Um, but this is only the second day of the sale and it lasts for four days. So, But I already made all my money back selling the one game so I'm happy. Um, so I found those because they have a few tables set up in front of the Methodist Church on that street. And that's where I got those. And then I headed up to the flea market. And I was looking and looking and not finding anything. And finally I got to the last table and there was a woman who had a whole bunch of health and beauty products. And I'm like, uh-oh, here we go. You know, let's see what she wants for these. So she looks at me and she goes, you know, they're, they're like 50 cents to a dollar a piece, something like that. She goes, you know, it really doesn't matter. She goes, here, if you want a bunch, just I'll give you a bag and you put what you want in a bag and then we'll figure out the price. I'm like, okay. So I took a grocery bag and I'm filling it up. And a few of these things have sold. But I think I got, I have to look at my list. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen. I think I got like fifteen items. Yeah, I think I got fifteen items. And I went up to her and I opened the bag up and I said, "Here, how much?" And she looks at me. She goes, "Well, how about just give me five dollars?" I'm like, "Uh, okay." <laughs> In this bag, there were. Uh, a couple packages of brand new L'Oreal mascara that I actually I'm actually keeping for myself. There was a bottle of a meaningful meaningful beauty cleanser, which can go with all my other meaningful beauty things that I just bought at the consignment sale. Um, and then I got six Wen products that were brand spanking new and sealed. I got two bottles of the cleansing conditioner, which I'm selling together as a lot. And I got this sweet almond mint spray, which actually sold for $22.99 with free shipping. So that's going out today. I also had a tube of styling cream, also the sweet almond mint. That's one of the most popular um, scents. That I sold for $12.99 with free shipping. And then I also sold two of the Remoist Intensive Treatments in the um, round shallow jars. I sold those and they both went, I wasn't selling them together, but someone bought them together. Um, and they went off to Hawaii the other day. So, lucky then. Um, and then I also had a box of Bye Bye Foundation from It Cosmetics, and that was brand new and sealed, and I sold that for $30 with free shipping. And on average, I paid $0.33 cents for each one of these things that I'm showing you. 
And then I still have, I think I left it in the other room, but I have another, <clears throat> I had two It Cosmetics things beside the foundation. I had this brow and power lift, and then there was also, I think an eyebrow pencil that's in the other room. So I have those, which should go for about 10 plus shipping on each of those. I've got some Lancome um, concealer that I think goes for like 10 to 15. And I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know what this is gonna do because I think it's discontinued, but it's Ultima 2 Rice Powder, the Nakeds. So we'll have to see what that does. But I haven't listed that one yet. So not too bad for five bucks. So that, <clears throat> my God, what's wrong with my voice today? <coughs> okay, let's try this again. Um, so from there, I went to the town white sale. And the first place that I went, or the town white sale in the next town, another 15 minutes away, um, that's where my son's high school girlfriend lives. And I know that town very well because, of course, <laughs> When he was in high school, he, our high school has like 3,000 kids in it. My son decided to go to Polytech, which we are very lucky here. We have a Polytech program that when I was in school at the same high school, we only had cosmetology and auto shop. And now they have like 30 different programs. It's unbelievable. They have like culinary and pastry, pre-nursing, pre-teaching, um... Homeland Security, uh, law enforcement and criminal justice, there's a firefighter program, there's 3D art and animation and all kinds of computer things. Um, it's incredible. And in addition to auto shop, they also do body work and like everything. Anything under the sun you can think of practically is at Polytech. And when kids are in their junior and senior year, they can opt to go there if they want. They take some of their classes in the morning at the high school and then they bus them to Polytech. Well, they not only bus our kids at our high school to Polytech, they bus everybody from the whole county from all the other high schools to Polytech, which is in our town. So of course, he had to wait till his junior year and meet a girl who lived a half an hour away, <laughs> who got bussed in from one of the other schools. and. Of course, neither one of them drove all through high school. Neither one of them wanted to. So me and his girlfriend's mom spent a lot of our time driving back and forth those last two years of high school. Um, so I'm very familiar with that town, and their sale is usually pretty big also. A lot of people participate. Uh, I went to a lot of houses, didn't find as much stuff as I wanted to, but I did find some good quality stuff. The... Um, they were having like a little flea market type thing on one of the corners. So they had a bunch of people all set up there. So that's where I went first. And right there I got this. This is the cat, if you can't tell. This is a cat vase. Oddly shaped vase. And it says, you guys can see this, Cats by Nina. And in completed listings, I found these sell for about... Um, $30 plus shipping, I think, and I got this one for two bucks. And it was funny because it was a couple families had the, like bought the, a table together, and this was sitting there. And so I asked the one lady, I said, you know, I, can I take this vase? And I was going to give her two dollars, and it wasn't hers. So she looks at the lady who it belonged to, and she goes like, Hey, she goes, your big fish sold. <laughs> the lady looks at her, and she goes, My what? She goes, you're big fish. And she goes, what the heck are you talking about? She turns around, she looks at it, and she goes, that's a cat, doofus. <laughs> She's like, what? And she looked at it again, she goes, oh, okay. So I guess she thought, like, this was the main part of the cat, like this was it, or the fish, and this was its fin or something. But that was funny. And then I think the only other thing I bought there besides a DVD to add to my Disney lot which is now huge and I really have to get it listed, is a vintage bottle of, uh, this says Parfum de Toilette instead of Eau de Toilette. This is by Cody. It's called 
Mouguet de bois. Don't ask me what that means. I don't speak French. Uh, if it's Spanish, I could figure it out, but I don't know French. So anyway, this is about probably three quarters of the way full, and this is a four ounce bottle. Yes, and it comes in this pretty little basket and the original box. I cannot find any that come in this basket with the box so I don't know what this is gonna do I think if it was just by itself I could sell it for 30 plus shipping um, so that's gonna have to go up for auction I paid a buck for that by the way so that'll go up for auction and let's see then I went to a bunch of houses in town and I was walking and walking and walking and walking and walking um, I did pass his girlfriend's house but her stepdad was there and he's kind of a jerk so I didn't talk to him if, it, if her mom was there I would have stopped and said hello but you know even though they've broken up but anyway um, let's see the next thing I got was this Brighton bracelet which is very pretty <clears throat> Except I don't really wear bangles because my wrists are so teeny tiny. Come on. <clears throat> Wake up. There we go. So we got this bracelet. Um, it's got really pretty Swarovski crystals in it. This particular design is called Zoe. And it has the crystals going all the way around. Paid five for that. Should easily be able to get, I think, like 35 with free shipping. Alright, I'm almost done, guys, I swear. Because I know this is getting long. Um, then I only got two cross stitch kits in all of town. I thought there might be more. But I got this Hirschner's kit. This is called Bird Bath Lap Quilt Top Kit. One of these sold recently on eBay for 40 I put mine up for 40 at auction. It didn't sell, but I will definitely be relisting it in my store for probably 40 or 45 and um, I paid three for this, and then I paid three for another one, which I don't have here because it already sold at auction. It was the same kind of thing, um, a lap quilt top, and it was Santa's, or Christmas toy shop, I think it was called. And it was just a big window of a toy shop with a little boy and girl standing in front of it, and you saw it, you know, from, you saw the back of them as they're looking into the toy shop window. And that I also paid three for, and I sold that for 40 with free shipping. And then, I think last but not least, hold on guys, I'm making sure I didn't forget things here. Okay. Um, on my way out of town, there was a development full of McMansions. And I drove down there, and I wasn't very hopeful because I know some of the McMansions tend to price their things high. Which, this woman kind of did, but the one thing I bought was absolutely worth it. And the other thing I got, she threw in for free, so I couldn't complain. Um, hold on, i got to move stuff around. Okay. I got this set of... Bottega Veneta. I hope I'm saying that the right way. Um, this is a three-piece gift set. I think it's body lotion and then two bottles of perfume or eau de toilette or whatever you want to call it. But she had 20 bucks on it. It's brand new in the box. So I paid 20 and I can easily make, I believe, like 135 minimum for this. So, not too shabby. And then, she had this candle for, I think, 2 or $3, and I ended up getting it for free. She just threw it in. And this is a berry, cranberry currant holiday candle from Lafco. I bought some Lafco things, and uh, you saw them in one of my previous videos. It was like peach something, soap and lotion and whatever else. But... Um, I found one of these online. I think they've been discontinued and they want not on eBay or Etsy. It's a different site um, That probably specializes in candles or something. They want almost $60 for this candle So I put mine up at auction for I think like 35 or 40 plus shipping 
So we'll see what happens. This might not sell till closer to Christmas, but I'm confident it will sell. Um, only bad thing is you can't get it open. They have this thing like crazy glued shut. But I did find a stock photo online that I was able to use for eBay, thankfully. So that people could actually see what it looked like. So that's it, guys. I'm so sorry this is so long. <laughs> I should have separated these, but I'm behind on video, so I just want to get these knocked out. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with a couple rummage sale videos for you guys. So talk to you soon, bye.